1 Peter 2:24 says, He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. This lady was located by the man of God in the most shocking and amazing way during the Sunday service of October 16, 2022. Go to the ladies' room. Partez dans la toilette de femme. Trouvez s'il y a quelqu'un là-bas. Thank you. Merci Seigneur. Pas mal, je te maintenant. It was you. C'était toi. Thank you. Viens. As a mother of six who has also been battling diabetes, she has been financially pressed down for so long. Her situation was so bad and so urgent that she has been crying out to God for rescue. You are crying. Come, come. Tu es en train de pleurer. Viens, viens. Because I saw you in the bathroom and alone. Parce que je te vois. For this woman. Je te vois. You are going through financial struggle. Et l'Éternel m'a dit, prie pour cette femme parce qu'elle passe par des crises financières. And then number two, et deuxièmement, non, non pas simplement it's like, des crises financières. Je ne sais pas, c'est comme s'il si y a quelque chose qui est en train de délier. Je ne sais pas qui vous Tu es en train de chercher une, inter une intervention, mais je sens que tu es passé par des problèmes yes. financiers tellement sérieux. Number two, et deuxièmement, these are one, two, three, je suis en train de voir un, four, deux, trois, quatre, jusqu'à cinq. C'est comme... Like There is a decree. C'est comme s'il y a une décret. Things, quelque chose de qui est now, dans cinq mois à partir de maintenant. Il y a quelques quelque parties de votre corps qui vont commencer à perdre leur force, à perdre sa force. But the devil is a liar. Mais le diable oh, est en yes. manque. Yes. Man of God, she is actually diabetic. Elle est diabète. Elle est atteinte du diabète. Number one, the Lord want to touch you. For, I don't. I, I saw an angel there in the bathroom. J'ai vu l'ange se tenir là dans le toilette. And he said, "Il m'a dit, l'ange m'a dit, cette femme, let the situation be transformed." Et sa situation Amen. soit transformée. Glory to Jesus. Glory to our God because the day of her rescue had finally come. Watch as the man of God instructs her on what to do. Look, look. Watch me. Regarde. Do you have your machine with you? Votre machine. I can see. Bring it. Je peux voir, apportez votre machine. Célébrez, célébrez, célébrez Jésus Christ. Oh, this is the needle. I want you to, to be tested. Je voudrais que vous puissiez. I want to see now what is your. Je voudrais voir maintenant quel est votre taux. Hein? The level. Quel est votre taux de sucre? And then after prayer, what shall be the level? Et après la prière, quel sera le taux? Her sugar levels were extremely high at 15.6, and this has been the case ever since her diagnosis, making her a slave to medication. Immediately after the prayers, she tested once again and it had gone down to 14.7. man of God, Tell it me. was 15.6 initially, yes, before the administration. Uh -huh. Now it is 14.7. You can celebrate the grace, celebration of God and pass the Christ. Jesus requires us only to believe and this was so for this lady because by the end of that service her sugar levels were down to 10.6 
which is almost impossible for any diabetic patient who has been deteriorating and almost on the verge of using insulin injections. And this is what our God can do. This is a miracle. Oh, yes. Instant miracle. Oh, yes. ah. Jesus. This is a sign Jesus is here. Oh, yes. Can you tell us your names? Uh, my name is Emma and I'm born again. Are you a member of CLJ Maranatha? Yes. Okay, so today during the service, something amazing happened that uh, God decided to visit us in the prophetic event before the service. Yeah. So maybe you could tell us any struggles you've been having in your health or something. Why would he stand and say that in the realm of the spirit, he's saying in the near future that something is going to happen to your organs? Yeah, that is very true because uh, I had a liver problem. I had gallstone and also had diabetes. So it was very true what he was saying about. Um, and uh, and I remember that uh, with the issue of diabetic, because most of us, if we know diabetes, it goes up and sometimes just eats into 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 the the organs and the body of somebody. Um, maybe you could tell us maybe in the in the past days how had you been feeling? How was your blood sugar when you test? Okay, uh, I've been testing myself every day. But uh, three days, it was like 30, 30 point something, which was very dangerous for me. And I was not feeling good because even when I was walking, I used to feel as if I want to fall down. And uh, yeah, I was not feeling good. Even my eyes, they are not seeing very well. So I knew that I have a problem and the diabetes is very high. So nothing I could do, just taking medicine. The man of God prayed for me, and uh, at least it came lower, 14.3. Immediately after the prayer, we were able to check, and there was progress. You were at 14.3. Yes. And have you checked again right now as we speak? Have you checked yes. again? Yes. And what is it reading it right like now? like 10 point something. I can't remember, but it was 10 point something, which is good. Wow, wonderful. Yeah. You have moved yeah. from a 15. Actually, the normal sugar levels from 10, you're at normal sugar levels. From 10 to 7, you are okay. So, which means you're totally okay, sugar free, diabetic free. I'm free, I'm free, and I thank God. I wow. thank God. I thank the man of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank yes. you, Jesus. What a testimony. And I believe even as you are taking those tests, you are able to, to also t take pictorial evidence of you and to just see that indeed God is in this place. What Even would you... now I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. After Wonderful. that, I'm feeling very good. You feel strong? I'm feeling strong and I'm very good. Very oh. good. Wow. What would you want to tell maybe somebody who is watching this testimony, somebody who is sick, somebody who is believing God? Is there a God who can heal them? Is there a God in this place? Yeah, there is God. There is God. And if you have faith, you will heal. Yeah, so it is for us to believe in God and know that God is there. Because even the Bible says that when you ask for something, he shall give you. When you pray and you ask God to deliver you, he will deliver you. Yeah, so uh, I thank God for everything because our God never disappointed me. And at least I'm healed. I'm very happy because I'm healed. And I thank God for everything that God has done in my life. Amen and amen and we celebrate with you amen. that wonderful, wonderful testimony. As you have heard, she could not even see properly. She knew she, she was very weak. A heart testing three days ago at a 30, that's a very emergency case. And her coming to church and by the power of the prophetic, the man of God was able to locate her and pray over her. And right now as we speak, she has just done her test. She is now diabetes free and of course we'll be following up more and we want to encourage you if you're out there there is a god and there is also god who is using a man at clj maranatha do not be afraid make your way to church clj maranatha international ministries we are located on road a off Likoni road come and carry your testimony back home